Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Purna and I decided to do a harvesting video today and I'm actually doing a kind of massive harvest because I got so many uh, butternut squash and other squash that coming out of my garden and it's need to be done because we are getting low 30s next week. So let's go and do some harvesting but again thank you for stopping by and uh, I'm new for doing videos and this is almost end of the season and um, it's gonna be another harvesting video if you haven't watched my other one you can go ahead and watch it and um, this is I want to just say you a little bit about this garden it's an organic kitchen garden that I moved to this house about five years ago and it was a very clay southern soil and actually it was a construction soil when I got into this and you can see how nice the soil right now it is all black and because I had so many organic matter and um, my family of five feeding with this garden and of course a lot of my friends and my neighbors I give things away because it's so much food produce uh, by this garden and I'm um, if you just want to get an idea I do have a, a 14 fruit trees I put down a lot of fruit tree this year too and um, also my land is we are living in the suburb uh, my land is a uh, quarter acre so I let the kids have a space and dog have their her space and let my husband have somewhat lawn that he can cut and this is what I'm using. It's about uh, close to 1500 square feet if I'm right. Um, you can uh, let's go and do some harvesting. And thank you for watching again if I forget to tell you the end. Okay guys then let's go ahead and do some harvesting real quick. Come on. And this one can is still a little bit longer. I'm going to leave that one. That's a long neck. Not a long neck. It's a real long neck. This long neck. Long neck. Long neck sister. and do the job fast and then we got one more here See the pumpkins here. So I guess I'm gonna leave that one. I'm gonna leave that one because the vines are still green and there is more space, more time. I know may probably a week gonna make a big difference. But look at this one. It's real long neck. Uh not a long neck, it's a crop neck one. That is a long neck one, I'm sorry. And this one's a little and um this one's arrived all the way 
and these ones are not ripe all the way and I'm gonna use this one for decoration this one I can leave time a little bit more This is what I say, it is not ready. Look at the difference of the color. Slightly different, but these ones are completely ripened and good quality. And I honestly like everything can turn to this color, but uh, we don't have that much time. So this is all gonna go into the house and it's gonna be decorations. Tree here, my peach tree, it is four years old. And I first started to grow fruit trees um when corona hit first time and then this plant came with same time too it was a clearance nine dollars from the walmart and uh, when four years ago so we planted we doesn't know exactly what is it is but we suspecting it is a, a green apple tree and this is the same time we bought this is um it's supposed to be a red apple tree i haven't get um, any ripened fruit on this due to we have a late frost and that is my um, also uh, four years old plum tree I got a few plum out of this and then I have uh, another two plum tree behind that and this is this spring I plant this one it's a peach tree and I have another peach tree right there and I, the last one I do have a um, plum tree and this is my black apple tree and this all came this year and this is my fig tree and my uh, another peach tree some of peach tree red some of them are white and I have my uh, grape wine it completely dead right now all three colors concord grape and uh, green grapes and um, purple grapes and here I have my herd garden everything looked like a huge mess due to uh, the pumpkin vines took over everything and end of the year I usually let it grow and I don't really try to cut anything here I do have mm, another pattern that is squash oopsie and More pumpkin to harvest, some more butternut squash, and we got a fruit trees, peel, cherries, and much more. And green beans are dying right now. Almost everything is dying right now. I think so. Hold on, let me cut. Let me cut this. Okay, hold on. Just grab it, baby. Pull it. Would I take it with you? This one is different kind. This is a straight neck okay. and this is crock neck. And then I do have the one hat and one the big fat ones. And I really like, I'm not really big fan of this one because they don't uh, have uh, so much flesh and they are very small. Uh, but I still grow them because I do have a seed saved and it's a little look different and I can use for decoration and here this one is perfect actually I can cut this one right here because this stem is completely dry I won't leave it but I'm about to leave the town and I don't want to um, them to get hit by frost This one too. It's completely dry one side. And let's see. If, oh, there is one more honey. Yeah. This can grab it like that because it's, it's a slug, baby slug. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Pumpkins or yes. uh, the nicest thing, not the white one. 
And here, look at these green beans. And this one too is ready. Mm -hmm. I don't think if there is any more that hiding in here. Alright. Now we need to transfer this stuff. And Look at this. Let's try to have a um let's try to put a shoot here. Root here. It's cool. Leah, don't go that way. You can go the other way. Okay, we need to take all of this with us. And I'm gonna give you one or one. Grab from the middle. I guess I'm gonna grab this stuff. Uh oh, came with the whole town. I don't want to pick it, but it's already, um, the wine is already dead and uh, something tried to get into the, um, so I'm going to cut that much, but I'm going to give this away when we go uh, to visit your uncle the weekend. Yeah, Leah, you okay? Yeah. Okay, look at all this, Leah. How big is this? Look at all this. Can you hold it? It's so heavy. So it's too heavy. Okay, put it down, honey. Go put it over there. Yeah. Over there, with near other ones. Hold it from the middle. You don't need to carry it there. Or you can just leave it there. Look how big this one is. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Put this one over there with it. This one, I'm gonna let it get all the sun. So, I'm gonna let it process everything there. Right. And this one is not ready yet, so I'm gonna leave this alone. Okay. Right here, this one I'm gonna leave it alone. Yeah, this one I'm gonna Leah, yeah, can you pick this? <laughs> yeah, we can. Yeah, this is delicious one. I love it. How big is Leah? Yeah, it be the same kind. Mm -hmm. This is right before it's turned um, yellow. Yeah, and no. even though this says you can still eat it, it's so good. Um, and you can also carve it for how we arrive. Yeah. Yeah, why not? You can watch it. put this on there too, baby. It's already dried out. Oh, oh no, grab it from the bottom so it will not hurt your fingers. Yeah, I have one more here. This is like, let's see you every, every day. Actually, try to uh, record something uh, hanging out with the younger kids are uh, very hard. So, a um, lot of things that I record, I decide to uh, trim some of them because it's so much um, talking uh, background. And um, here I went and harvest that uh, pumpkin. It's called uh, honey nut. 
and it is very similar taste to the um, butternut squash um, I never uh, eat that one before but it's look uh, really really pretty and it is look different than the any decorative pumpkin um, I'm gonna go ahead and cook it and try it and let you guys know um, what is the taste like it with my uh, different video I will show it I will cut open some of those pumpkin and uh, how I will cook and here the green ones these are younger ones and um, any if you see somewhere I'll see trimming and doing it uh, what I'm trying to do is if I see any younger fruits I would have pick it off because I know within a week or two there is no way they're gonna ripen and some of them might think you know they will be able to eat later and uh, within a week or two uh, so I'm going to leave them on the vine end of the day I'm not going to pull any of this plant this plant will um, survive long as uh, they can during first frost and all of that and then um, right before spring start I'm going to go ahead and uh, maybe like a January I'm gonna go ahead and pull all those plants because we're gonna have a constant rain and um, It's gonna be easy to pull them out of the ground especially the okra Because they have very deep roots And I'm decide to uh, do a little um, um, All my vegetable lay on my table as usual because many times when I harvest you will see today I'm doing a lot of big squash single ones harvest so usually when i harvest i have bunch of basket outside i will pick multiple vegetables and uh, my vegetables uh, when you see my beds they doesn't have one kind only in the bed they have so many mixes stuff because as a plant lover um in during spring i realize oh you know what i don't have enough plant let me put some more you know so that's how I do it and all these plants to be honest with you i grow either the saved seed from my garden uh, majority of my seed i buy from dollar tree to be honest with you i never buy expensive seed only time i buy expensive seed that i cannot find it in the dollar store just like my long beans but i haven't bought any long beans while I honestly thought this video gonna be my last harvesting video but I got um, so much green color papers on the plant I don't really have a time to pick everything today 
um i'm trying to finish it within week or so because next week um and i'm gonna be gone and i don't know uh, frost gonna become next weekend anyhow it is really really cold this mornings so um we'll see so i'm almost uh, done for a day um it is my day of day weekend i'm a working mom of three my youngest is two um i am really this is my hobby honestly but i'm really don't have so much time to uh, work on my garden you will see a lot of mess in my garden just like my house and my life but um, let me show you what I have is here um, you will always see why I'm putting on the table because my baskets are usually mix everything up so I'll bring it to dining table and I'll separate everything and then I'll see hey what I got in my hand what I had to do what is the need to be processed because I'm a mom that I do not have a time to sit down and re relax and wait for anything. So I need to like a get thing done. I always have my schedule set up. So um, even with my garden. So um, when I see everything on my table, I know what I have to get it done. Here, um, my gorgeous Indian pumpkin. I got this little tiny piece from Patel Brother uh, grocery store. And I bought it home uh, last summer if I'm right. And I grow it first time and I'm like in love with those pumpkin and I save some seed grow this year they were perfect um, and then the I have a bunch of uh, butternut squash here few spaghetti squash I have about like a five spaghetti squash left a um, lot of banana pepper serrano pepper habanero and some poblanos I got left and my friends really want some chili paste and i'm about to make some tonight um if you like to know how i'm making my chili paste please go ahead and watch that video i posted it and you're not gonna um disappointed with that recipe and um, i am going to share a lot of this food and uh, this is my uh, sweet potatoes some of them are asian they either they are white or uh, the big ones are american ones that you can find in a regular grocery store um also um there is okra here there is a few wind beans not too many and i have a very little bit tomato left and, uh, and i'm I very excited to make some more uh, take care uh, chili of my plants for almost my one month ago i haven't and, watered uh, them and this is I'm my uh, deep fried bitter, uh, and some of this is bitter ground bitter and this gold. one was stuck and, in my uh, fence that you see that one was stuck in my fence and here's the full harvest uh, with me um i hope you like my video thank you for watching dear friends